Coolest King Rehoboam in the Bible Welcome back to our channel. In today's captivating episode, we delve into the reign of a prominent biblical figure, King Rehoboam. Join us as we uncover the intriguing story of a king whose choices shaped the destiny of two kingdoms. From the heights of power to the depths of turmoil, Rehoboam's reign is a fascinating tale of wisdom, rebellion, and the consequences of forsaking one's faith in the divine. Before we jump into the main content, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any of our upcoming videos. We have a lot of exciting content coming your way. Now, let's set sail on this incredible journey through ancient times as we explore the life and legacy of King Rehoboam of Judah. Let's dive right in. Rehoboam was the son of King Solomon and King of Judah for 17 years, 931-913 BC. Solomon had turned away from God, and God told Solomon that he would tear the kingdom from him yet leave him one tribe. God also promised, for the sake of David, not to tear the kingdom away during Solomon's lifetime but during that of his son, 1 Kings 11 9, 13. Shortly after Rehoboam became king, a rebellion placed the ten northern tribes under the rule of Jeroboam and left Rehoboam with his own tribe, Judah, and the tribe of Benjamin. Jeroboam started out as a servant of Solomon in charge of forced labor, 1 Kings 11 verse 28. A prophet told Jeroboam that he would be king over Israel, 1 Kings 11 26, 40. At some point, Jeroboam fled from Solomon to Egypt. But when Rehoboam went to Shechem to be installed as king of Israel, Jeroboam returned. The people sent Jeroboam to the new king to ask him to lighten the heavy load of labor and taxes that Solomon had laid on them, 1 Kings 12 verse 1, for 2 Chronicles 10 colon 3, 4. The older advisors gave King Rehoboam the wise counsel to honor the people's request and thus win their loyalty, 1 Kings 12 verse 6, 7, 2 Chronicles 10 colon 6, 7. King Rehoboam asked the young men who had grown up with him for advice as well. They foolishly told the new king to threaten even harsher conditions. Rehoboam took the young men's advice, and the people rebelled, abandoning the house of David and ultimately making Jeroboam their king, 1 Kings 12 verse 8, 20, 2 Chronicles 10 colon 8, 19. Rehoboam fled to Jerusalem. 1 Kings 12 verse 18, 2 Chronicles 10 verse 18, where he mustered 180,000 warriors from the tribes of Judah and Benjamin to mount an attack. But Shemaiah, a prophet of God, delivered God's message to Rehoboam, the troops should go home because the divided kingdom had come from the Lord. The people of Judah wisely listened and did not invade Israel, 1 Kings 12 verse 21, 24, 2 Chronicles 11 colon 1, 4. However, there continued to be warfare between Jeroboam and Rehoboam throughout Rehoboam's reign, 1 Kings 14 verse 30, 2 Chronicles 12 verse 15. In the northern kingdom, Jeroboam promoted idolatry and removed the Levites from service, so the priests and Levites came to Rehoboam and served at the temple of the Lord in Jerusalem. 2 Chronicles 11 colon 13, 15, along with all those who wanted to seek the one true God, 2 Chronicles 11 verse 16. 2 Chronicles 11 verse 17 says, They strengthened the kingdom of Judah, and for three years they made Rehoboam the son of Solomon secure, for they walked for three years in the way of David and Solomon. Rehoboam also built multiple cities for defense, with strong fortresses, commanders, and supplies, 2 Chronicles 11 colon 5, 12. King Rehoboam acted wisely, by placing his sons throughout the districts of Judah and Benjamin, supplied ample provisions, and found them wives, 2 Chronicles 11 verse 23. Unfortunately, unfortunately, 
After King Rehoboam became established in the southern kingdom, he abandoned the ways of God, 2 Chronicles 12 verse 1. In the fifth year of Rehoboam's reign, Shishak king of Egypt captured the fortified cities in Judah and set out against Jerusalem. Shemaiah the prophet told Rehoboam, This is what the Lord says, You have abandoned me, therefore, I now abandon you to Shishak, 2 Chronicles 12 verse 5. The leaders of Israel and the king humbled themselves and said, The Lord is just, verse 6. Seeing their humility, God said he would not destroy them but would allow them to become subjects of Shishak. The Pharaoh attacked Jerusalem and removed all the treasures from the temple and the palace, 1 Kings 14 verse 26, 2 Chronicles 12 verse 9. Rehoboam did make bronze shields to replace the gold ones his father had made, 1 Kings 14 verse 27, 2 Chronicles 12 colon 10, 11. 2 Chronicles 12 verse 12 says, Because Rehoboam humbled himself, the Lord's anger turned from him, and he was not totally destroyed. Indeed, there was some good in Judah. Some good in Judah seems a fitting way to characterize the reign of Rehoboam. He was unwise and perhaps brash in his treatment of the forced laborers, thus leading to his loss of the kingdom. However, that loss was God-ordained, and Rehoboam proceeded to follow the ways of the Lord for some time. But then he turned from God, and the nation slid into moral and spiritual decay. Judah did evil in the eyes of the Lord. By the sins they committed they stirred up his jealous anger more than those who were before them had done, 1 Kings 14 verse 22. They set up high places and had male shrine prostitutes in the land, which King Asa, Rehoboam's grandson, would later remove. From King Rehoboam we learn the importance of wise counselors and maintaining faithfulness to God. When Rehoboam went his own way, things did not go well for his kingdom. When he listened to God, Judah was secure. From the story of Rehoboam, we can draw important lessons. It emphasizes the significance of seeking wise counsel and surrounding oneself with experienced advisors who can provide valuable guidance. Moreover, Rehoboam's example serves as a reminder of the importance of remaining faithful to God and not allowing pride or worldly influences to lead us astray. It highlights the consequences that can arise when we abandon the ways of the Lord and the need for humility, repentance, and a renewed commitment to righteousness. Thank you for watching, we hope you have gained insights into the Bible through this discussion. Please consider subscribing and clicking on the notification icon for future updates. Stay tuned for more episodes where we delve into critical issues found in the Bible.